you guys uh, so what I am going to do right now is um, go to Dane and show you guys some actual progress on the car I think Dane did mention that he sanded the roof as well as the bonnet and then also guys what I did fail to mention is that Dane has also agreed to kind of teach me um, while I am filming um, so I will basically be Dane's apprentice and like I'm filming I'll basically be showing you guys what he's teaching me as well uh, so yeah guys, I'm almost by Dane's house and I'll show you some progress on the car. Hey guys, so uh, this is the progress on uh, the EK. Um, Dane basically stripped um, the sides, uh, the door panels over here. And then he also sanded uh, the roof like I mentioned. He also sanded um, the doors lightly. Um, what he also did not mention to me now is that uh, this section over here was a little bit of some surface rust so obviously I had to go um, sand it to basically bare metal and then let me just show you guys on the other side you mentioned that there's an actual example of the surface rust that he's actually busy with so over here as you guys can see still a little bit of surface rust so then just has to go over it a little bit more to remove um, that surface rust Hey guys, so as you guys can see, uh, Dane removed uh, the inside door panels as well. Um, he also just confirmed now that um, it will be sprayed on the inside as well. So this will basically be a full complete respray in uh, my color. Hey guys, so Dane also mentioned that he actually went to go fetch uh, the paint today. So I'm going to just show you guys uh, the differences. He also mentioned that there is a lot of different type of reds and um how can i say my red was actually difficult for for them to actually confirm what it is um so these are actually two cousins okay <laughs> so similar to me and mikey they both have vtex this is milano red i think dane also sprayed um um jean Dre's car in this red and then this is what they call roma red which is um similar to mine it's not exactly like mine we're just using my car as a reference but this is what they would call Roma red and this is what they will call milano red so i'm gonna just show you guys the two differences so here we have milano red as you guys can see it's uh, much more darker uh, than what they are calling Roma red i'm just going to put this down here quickly and i'll show you guys what the Roma red looks like also known as um, the same color as my car so this is Roma red, as you guys can see it's much more brighter, um, how can I say, it's more vibrant I would say, um, compared to what um, the Milano red is. To my understanding Milano red is also a more uh, modern color, so I think mine is more of an old type of red, I'm not quite sure exactly but yeah. So this is also known as Roma red and I think Dane mentioned there's another name, what's this new formula? also new formula new formula is also very close to uh, this color as well so this is uh, the two different colors guys like i mentioned this is actually also two cousins so they have uh, both have ballards both have vtex i'll try to show you guys jandre's car as well that they indeed spray in milano red okay guys so uh, also another thing i just wanted to mention is that obviously you can see the primer used here is a very dark primer used by Honda. That can also cause the car to be a darker red. Uh, bear in mind, this is also not Milano red. And like I mentioned earlier on that um, Honda actually has a lot of different reds. So bear in mind that we're only speaking um, under correction. We are only trying to figure out what the reds are based of what we see, not what we know exactly. So yeah, this is just an assumption, um, we're not quite sure exactly what red this is, but because of the dark primer use, we assume that that also causes uh, this color to be a little bit darker than usual. And that is why we're saying that this might not be Milano red, and this is Milano red. Okay guys, so Dane just gave me my first lesson. Uh, so to my understanding, um, when respraying a car that has, how can I say, um, um, sunburn, that obviously in some areas the clear coat is on and some areas the clear coat is off um, the first step would obviously to sand the whole area down um, this is an example as to what I'm referring to is as like here is still a bit of little bit of clear and this is how it is sanded down 
the reason for doing that with a car that has sunburn is so that you can get um, one level basically so for example in an area um, that was over there there was a big sunburn mark so obviously there will be different levels so what they just did here was um, make everything one level and that is basically a first step when um, respraying a car that has some sunburn damage okay guys so here's a perfect example of what i was actually referring to so this little section over here is actually where it is normal and this is actually the part where it has some sunburn on it so that you can feel actual um you can actually feel the level of the two differences as well so what dane is just doing is just basically sanding everything down and making everything one level before he continues okay guys so uh, another thing i just learned right now is that um what dane basically does here is just give it a light sand on the door and then you guys can basically see everything that is a little shiny or showing means that that is basically the dent so for example everything else is very um how can i say sandy and then you will see over here um it's not it's basically shining so that means that there's a dent over there and for example to see if i can show you guys over here as well so basically when you do sand the car um, it also gives you um, it also shows you exactly where all the dents are as well okay guys so i'm just going to help dane remove the side skirts and the mud guards as well and then i also asked dane if the owner does not maybe want to spray um, the side skirts red and then dane did mention that he's actually going to get um, two of both so let's have an example he's going to have some red side skirts and the black side skirts I think he is going to maybe uh, get another front bumper and rear bumper and then just maybe remove the molds so he is going to go for two different looks similar to what i have as well um i did suggest that we do already have a bumper which is the rx bumper uh, as a new spec bumper on here but i'm not quite sure how, if he's going to agree to that yet but anyway uh that is what the owner has planned for the car as well so I'm just going to remove the side skirts and the mud flaps quickly. So I just finished up removing the side skirts as well as the lights um, these lights over here and the inner was actually kind of very difficult to remove um, as you guys can see everything's still OEM so this actually still sticked and it was actually very difficult to remove the lights um, so I would say this car is its OEM color and everything does seem uh, basically OEM however we did pick up now that um, there was some work done on this door over here i think they mentioned and then we're not quite sure why this uh is it like drops now watermark is also on here but as you guys can see over here there's definitely some um, work done on this door
Hey guys, just another thing we picked up. Um, it looks like they could have tried to break in over here um, because the other side is not like this. As you guys can see, it's actually pushed in over here. This should actually be more flush. So just another thing that we just picked up on the car as well. Hey guys, so I'm gonna leave it off here. Um, this is what Dane has done this far. Um, the roof is basically um, all done. He did mention that he might just um, grind this a little bit more over here. And also, like I mentioned previously, um, Dane is going to remove the windscreen um, for this little section over here, as well as the back window as well. And then also, what you guys can expect in the next video is um, Dane is going to sand the whole car. And also, the owner might just be here tomorrow, and then I might just link up with him. Maybe just have a word with him and hear what is his future plans as well. Okay guys, so I'm going to end the video here, um, what I also wanted to know from you guys, if you are enjoying uh, this new build series, please do give this video a thumbs up, and also guys, because I'm doing this build series, uh, this will now allow me to uh, basically upload a little bit more, so my upload schedule will be a little bit better than before, maybe I can upload um, twice a week for you guys as well, be in mind that this um, build series or um, before and after series will be something that will be happening in the background I will still have my normal builds on um, how can I say on Tariq's car, on my car, on Michael's car as well so yeah guys I'm gonna end off the video thanks a lot for watching see you guys in the next one peace